Digital Life presents Nation Wants to Know with Arnab Goswami, powered by Ravin, Gioni, Volkswagen Tiguan, and Canara HSBC Oriental Bank of Commerce Life Insurance. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a very special breaking news broadcast of The Nation Wants to Know. The idea behind The Nation Wants to Know is to give one individual an opportunity to give his or her perspective, for us to question that individual from all sides, to cross-verify whether the comments being made by the individual are correct, and also not to leave any room for the truth not to come out. That, in a sense, is the idea behind The Nation Wants to Know. And with me today, on this episode of The Nation Wants to Know, is a person who represents the young face of the left front in India. Rito Broto Banerjee, welcome, Rajya Sabha Member of Parliament, still with the Communist Party of India. It's good to have you on the program. Communist Party of India Marxist. Communist CPIM. Party of India Marxist. And you're still with them? Yes, very much, because uh, formally yesterday, actually, the entire media has shown that I am expelled, but till now, no formal communication. Have you been expelled? Uh, see, the party has not said anything to me till now. Why? So you I being, have no formal. What is, what is the fight about? See, there are a whole lot of issues actually. You know, I was suspended for three months. There were some allegations against me. I've heard about there was a There was a commission formed, uh, hmm. headed by Muhammad Salim, Politburo member. What was the member allegation? Commission. There were allegations some, uh, about some personal uh, re uh, relations. There were allegations about... Personal uh, relations? Yes. As in what? There, they said, but did, uh, uh, the, I, I will come to that, I will come to everything. When, I, uh, when the leaders met me, they asked, they, uh, they told me that there are some allegations. So there needs to be a probe. I said, okay, fine, I have no problem in having a probe. Then the probe started, this three-member commission was formed with uh, Mohammed Salim as the chairman of the commission. Then I told the party state secretary, even I have later written to the party general secretary, that I feel, feel that the entire conspiracy that has been going on against me, Mohammed Salim is one of the conspirators. So how can he head a commission? Mm -hmm. And interestingly, I have been called four times in that commission. I went there for four times. Even before I went for the did first time. Did you secretly record the commission? No, no, that, that, that's why I'm telling you. You did a sting why, why? operation yes, on did, your party? I did. Yes, I did. You did a sting operation yes, on your I did. party? I did. And, and where did. is the tape of that sting operation? That is with me. You've done a sting operation on, the, audio, on your own? Audio sting operation. You've done an audio sting operation because I, because why on I, your own party? Yes. Where is the tape? The tape is with me. You'll reveal it? I will reveal it in time. Obviously, I have to reveal it. Because when I'm telling you that I have some tapes, and why did I... What was the reason behind? Because before I was called in that commission, I felt that the commission was not impartial. Then, before I went to the commission, there was a report in a Bengali newspaper, big newspaper, that what will be the outcome of the commission? What exactly the commission is going to do with me? And precisely today, those are the recommendations of the commissions, even before I had met the commission. So you were set up? No, no. I went there. For the first day, I did not record. But the later three days, I recorded. Because, see, if tomorrow... The Till CPM date, I have not met a member of parliament who's carried out the sting operation. You're the first <laughs> MP who stung his party. But what is forcing you to this? No, I'm I, told that your party has a problem with the fact that you wear an Apple watch. I'm wearing that. Can you show the Apple watch? Yes, yes, here it is. This is the reason why you've been sacked. Can you hold this up your hand? Hold up your this hand. This is one of the this reasons. Is, this is the reason why you've been sacked from your party. One of the reasons. One of the reasons they're telling. Uh, what is the problem with the Apple watch? Actually, see, the problem is not with the Apple watch. And they I also think, have a problem no, with no, your pen. Uh, every, they Which have pen? A, they have a, uh, is that this, your this pen? pen this Can pen, you hold so up that yes, pen? Yes, this is the pen. So these are the two reasons. Can you hold them up for the camera? These are the two reasons you've been sacked from your party. Two reasons. The Apple the Watch, reasons. ladies and gentlemen, and the Mobla pen. The problem is with the individual. This is a, every CPIM MP uses Apple products because see, par, member of parliaments they get some money from the parliament, and everybody, most of the members, I think, except one MP of the CPIM, everybody uses an Apple accessory. But why the problem is with me? Yeah, what's the problem? Because the the prop this has been happening for long. The day since I became an MP, actually, I later realized that becoming MP has me has been the greatest uh, negativity on my part. Why? There's a natural consequence. You were SFI's district president in 2003. You were its vice president by 2005. 2014, you were a member of parliament. How old were you when you became a member of parliament? I was 34. You were just 34. Are 34 year olds allowed into the Rajya Sabha? Technically, or did you break the rules? No, 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 no. It was uh, 30 years. Huh. Above 30 years, anybody is So you're the youngest. The... At 34, you were a Rajya Sabha MP. At that time, I was the youngest. And you look, you, three years from now, you're being sacked. No, no. Uh, what I'm telling you, what actually, happened? Uh, 
it came in the media and it was a discussion everywhere that some big leaders wanted to be the candidate. Name of Brinda Karat was there mm. to be the candidate. So I don't know what happened. I don't want to go into that. But the problem I have for the last three years what I am facing, I have realized that there is an organized conspiracy. Against what? Single out in the, singling out individuals. Sup suppose in your show, in your show I am sitting here today. You remember this is the first time I am in the Republic. That's true. Because in a closed door meeting of the CPIM MPs, it was categorically told before the parliament session that no CPIM person can go to the Republic TV. Okay. You cannot go to the Republic TV. Why is TV. that? I don't know why. But I have seen other people of the CPIM it's incredible. joining the Republic TV. It's there incredible. was a direct... In that meeting, it was categorically told, and as I used to come to different news yeah, channels, yeah. I was told, you must not go to Republic TV. Yeah. You cannot go to Republic TV. But now it is also clear that that is also a pick and choose, because other people are coming. Absolutely. Are you, after you were expelled, you simply said that someone had to bell the cat. Yes. And I did it. Who was the cat you were referring to, and why did you take so long to bell the cat? No, you may, you may say, that is a correct question, that uh, why did I took so long? Because yeah. the fight was going on in between the party, in, in a, inside party. What do you mean the fight within? There is there is a, a fight within the inner, CPA? Inner, inner party struggle, absolutely. Inner party there. struggle between whom? Inner party struggle between different groups. But name the people. Uh, in the central committee, if you look at the central picture, obviously there are fights between the Karats and the general secretary on one side. You're saying there's a fight uh, between Sitara Meshuri and Prakash Karat. Sitara is a minority secretary of the CPI. What do you mean by that? Minority secretary doesn't have the numbers, it is proved. You're saying there's a power struggle? Between them? Absolutely. Between, between Sitaram Yachuri and? Between, see, Sitaram Yachuri in the last party congress in which Sitaram Yachuri became the general secretary of the party, he was in the last night when the meetings were on, everybody knows it was the name of S. Ramachandran Pillai which was there. The SRP will become the party secretary, not Sitaram. But ultimately, they were forced. General to, secretary. Uh, general secretary. But ultimately, they were forced because uh, it would have, there would have, if there would, be, would have been a vote and the vote would have been in secret ballot. And yes. I believe. In this central committee meeting where Sitaram is defeated, Sitaram could not become the Rajya Sabha member again. That was a proposal of the Bengal party. So there was a vote in the Politburo. There was a vote in the central committee. there's a fight between Sitaram Eshuri and Prakash Kuhn. Yes, everybody knows. Everybody, so nobody has said Who's this publicly. Everybody? everybody knows. Who's everybody? everybody within the CPI They knows. all talk about it. I, I'm coming to that because in the newspapers, the results of the vote were there. That uh, 49 votes, the correct fraction has got 31 votes in favor of Sitaram. But I believe that if there was a secret vote, Sitaram would have been the candidate because mm. Sitaram would have won. So this is going on because this, there is a problem. This is a long problem. What is problem. the fight about? Is it personal, fight. ideological, fight uh, just about, a sheer power struggle about, or what is about, it? About controlling the party. Controlling See, the party? this is not a new thing. In 1996, when Harkishan Singh Surjit was the secretary of the party, in the United Front government, Jyoti Basu, there was a chance that Jyoti Basu could become the Prime Minister. Yes. Twice there were vote. All that the I'm aware of. Huh, all the opposition parties were asking the CPIM that Jyoti that's Basu right. must be accepted as the Prime Minister. I remember that. Basu was defeated in And vote. I remember that that's at that, that point of time, Jyoti Basu said that this is a historic yes, blunder for the left party. it's a historic blunder and I'm telling you sitting here, making Sitaram Yechuri, not renominating Sitaram Yechuri again in the parliament is another historic blunder committed by the CPIM, which is every day decreasing. When Jyoti Basu was made, not allowed to be the Prime Minister, yes. the argument was given that we are not, we cannot control this government. I just want to ask from your show. What do you mean we cannot control the government? They said that the number of MPs are not enough to control a government. That's why they won't, don't want to go to the... Who uh, specifically made that point? That was the uh, Prakash Karat led that fight. That argument, because in that next party congress there was a vote. Harkishan Singh Surjit presented one report and Prakash Karat presented another report in the Calcutta party congress. And the report of Harkishan Singh Surjit was How defeated. long will this fight continue? This fight is continuing. How long will it continue? It will continue till the party breaks, because I am confident enough the CPM, at least in Bengal, there will be a breakup in the CPIM. There'll be a breakup? Yes, there will be a breakup in CPIM. Why? Because, because issues of Bengal, interests of Bengal, are always neglected. You see, Jyoti Basu. Jyoti Give me an Basu example. Is a Give me an example. I'm, I'm giving an example, concrete example. Jyoti Basu is a Bengali. When Jyoti Basu was not allowed to be the Prime Minister, so Bengali people, Bengali sentiment got hard. Shomnath Chatterjee. Shomnath Chatterjee was expelled from the party. He was a Bengali. Bengali sentiments are continuously being hard. When Bengal says that we need Sitaram Yachuri, Sitaram Yachuri needs to go to the parliament from Bengal. Congress had decided to support him. So the party you did not allow, you dumb the requirements of Bengal. Point are you saying leaders, leaders from Bengal are being disregarded? Leaders, issues of Bengal are being disregarded. By the CPM? By the central 
uh, leadership of the CPIM where the Kerala people holds a majority. So in the there battle between the, you're examples. saying in the battle between the Kerala and the Bengal units of the CPM, that's going to lead to a lead to a breakup of the party. Yes, I believe that there may be a breakup in the CPIM. I'm sure there is will be. Is that one of the reasons you're leaving? See, I have I Are you I caught in you, the power no, no, struggle? No, no. I am I am I am telling you categorically that I decided to build the cat. It was a conscious decision. That yes, people must know everything. Yes, this is uh, that's why party I am hearing and I have been removed from all WhatsApp groups. I mean, that's the confirmation that some decision has been taken against me. That's childish. <laughs> I childish or not childish, I don't know. I immediately after the, there was a new leakage in the media because party did not say anything in the media. You are, are, you going to are you going to be leading a bigger breakup of the CPM in Bengal? That time will tell. But, but the, the CPM but will for break. Me, but for me, the specific slogan is Joy Bangla. That means Hell Bengal. Because issues of Bengal cannot be neglected. Issues of Bengal has been continuously neglected. See in Delhi, where the CPIM doesn't get 500 votes even in mm. the assembly elections. Delhi, you have a central committee. Every member has a single vote. Somebody from Delhi, somebody from Haryana, somebody from smaller states, where the CPIM cannot get even 1,000 votes in the assembly elections. They are telling, no, this is wrong in Bengal. That is not the ground reality. People, Prakash Karat has never voted in the hammer and sickle symbol. Because he doesn't have an opportunity to vote. Because CPIM candidates are, candidates are not there in Delhi. So the, these people, innumerable people, who doesn't vote even in the hammer and the sickle symbol, they are deciding the fate of Bengal. I am telling you, after this interview, after I uh, opened my mouth in a Bengali channel, innumerable people from Bengal have congratulated me, stood by me. They said that the war must go on. There must not. You have built the cat. You have... Yes, I have bleeded yesterday. I have profusely bleeded because it was a long association of 21 years. In 1996, when I was a class 10 student, from that time I am in the party. So, obviously, there is bleeding. How old are you now? 37. Yeah. So, there's a long association. So, uh, there's half the average age of the top leadership of the CPM. No, in CPM, uh, if you. I'm saying on a lighter note. <laughs> you're right. But uh, the point is that somebody has to build like that. Yes, I have been expelled. Uh, now, when you say Joy Bangla, it's interesting, you know, you're, you're mixing out here your, your appeal among the youth as well as a very, very strong regional chant. Are you going to form a regional party of your own or join one? Time will tell what will Will you happen. join the BJP? Time will tell. Will you Nobody join Mamta? Can tell what will, will you join Mamta Banerjee? For me, I am very clear, my priorities are priorities of Bengal. Because priority, I'm, I'm but a But you Bengali. haven't been officially sacked yet. No, no, I have, I not have, but uh, this uh, WhatsApp group confirms, this childish activities confirms that, yes, this, there is a decision and uh, yesterday many leaders have said in public, but I am amazed why the CPM had not given me a Have you spoken to Sitara Mechuri? No, or to Prakash Karat? Has there no, been any formal no, communication no, to you no by a party top leadership? I have checked my mail even before sitting in your show, I have checked my mail, nothing is there. No communication is there, so I continue still to be a CPIM MP. Yeah, so you're going to vocally criticize the CPIM? Yes, day in now, and day out. Because the point is that enough is enough. Issues yeah. of Bengal have been neglected. By who? You're saying by, by the, the Karats. Karats. By the Karats. By Karats. Yes, who, Your battle is against uh, the Karats. Uh, not only Karats. In Bengal, they, uh, they operate through Muhammad Salim, yeah. another Politburo member. Yeah. In Kerala, they operate through Pinarai Vijayan and Kodiari Balakrishnan. Yeah. So you go on a survey in Kerala, the most popular leader of the people of Kerala is V.S. Achyutanandan, who is completely sidelined in is the party. Is there going to be a bigger breakup? I cannot tell now, but as far is as Bengal is concerned, I am telling is it on the verge of that? ground reality is people of Bengal are feeling that all the priority, Bengal is never given due priority. Bengal is never given due weightage. Bengali people are handled in a different way. So Bengal, see, see, in this era, where the average age of our population, 54% of the average age of our population is 25 years. And if you, CPM is, has failed to address this population, there is a generation gap, generation, there is a language gap. The, the what if these happening. people turn around and say, Rito Proto Banerjee, was exposed for wearing an Apple Watch, so for having a Mobla pen. Ajay, what's the I don't is, know what the problem no, no, is, is, but suppose they say that you've gone bitter. No, no. Suppose they say that he is reacting out of bitterness no, and is, not out of conviction. This is not a suppose they of, say that you are reacting out of political opportunism, that you want to join the BJP. This is only a sort of excuse to do so. Ajay, Could I, be you are going to face counter questions, aren't you? Obviously. They then are what will you say? They are telling us how self-contradictory things they are telling. Primary campaign is Rito Brother Energy wants to keep his membership in parliament. Yeah. Then immediately, today in the Bengali 
mainstream media stories yeah. are being cooked up yeah. that I sat with BJP leaders I have already formalized of joining BJP have you no these people are filling these people don't even remember that could you no no could that you time will tell nobody could you tell not ruling it out no I'm not ruling not ruling it out for the priority of Bengal sitting with anybody Maybe there. I am not ruling anything out. But the point is, you see. But what about your convictions? You know, for for example, on the issue of the secularism. Priority, You've I, been critical of the C, of the BJP in the past. I have been critical of the BJP. I have been critical of the Trinamool. I am still critical of the BJP. I am still critical about the Trinamool. But my priorities are Bengal-specific priorities. So I am telling you, there are enough ground level reality where the party may what break. What is the but real the, story? No, no, I'm, 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 just let me tell you one thing. On one side. Continuous malicious campaign is there, Rito Prato Banerjee wants to keep the Rajya Sabha membership. Yeah. These people are forgetting that if Rito Prato Banerjee wants to keep the Rajya Sabha membership, if he joins another political party even after expulsion, yeah. his membership will not be there. Yeah. So this calculation You have alleged corruption? You have, you see, have, have alleged, made have allegations alleged. of corruption see, against the CPM, have you, in the MP lads issue? Yes. Explain. Yes. This is a big charge. What see, is your allegation? See, see, see. As an MP. Every MP has 5 crore rupees to spend in a year yeah. for the public. Yes. For CPIM, the Rajya Sabha MPs, the entire money of the Rajya Sabha MPs, they don't have any power to decide where that money will be spent. Yeah. This is I am telling you in public for the first time. Lok Sabha MPs spend the money according to their own will in their Lok Sabha so Who decides? The party? The party decides. The party sends a clean I have process? all the mail. Is that a clean no, process? No, it's not a clean what process. What mails do you have? I have been vocal. I have been what vocal. mails do you have? I have mails where the party has sent me the mails, these are the schemes, this amount of money, you print it in your letterhead and deposit it in the nodal agency. Then the but that's a start. breach of parliament. Yes, that's a breach of Show parliament. Show me the letter. No, that's the, the, then after uh, what, what I did, I uh, wrote a letter on 27th of September 2016, I wrote a letter to the party state secretary. Why? Why I was, I wrote this letter? Because my MP led schemes were not, see three years I am an MP. So 15 crore of rupees of scheme needs to be given. Till now, only 9 crore rupees scheme has been given and the spending is in a very bad shape. Is, is that it's given wh by the Why has it not been allotted? I think that's a part of the conspiracy also to malign me. Is that me. corruption? Because, or no, is no, I'm, I'm coming to that. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to that. I have some specific points in that. See, when my term will be over, if my money is not spent, nobody will tell, nobody in CPM will accept things that uh, we have uh, decided what will happen. Hmm. But then all the blame will be on me what that is, the MP has failed. What is the real story of the fight between Sitara Miyachuri and no, Prakash? I, I, let me let me let this yeah. MP lad thing because I feel some foul plays in there in these MP lads. So I have decided that I will uh, formally write to the concerned minister at the centre and also because as Calcutta Against Corporation what? Uh, to have a probe on what money has been spent, how it has been spent. By whom? By the left? By at, at least uh, by the left because the, you the are Sabha. you are asking you are asking. The Rajya Sabha Vice Chairman yeah. to investigate the allocation of MP led schemes by members of parliament from the left because that is a decision being taken at a larger level. Is yes. that what you are saying? Yes. You I are, you are, there, you are therefore, what if they say this is crossing the limit? You can't be a member of the party and ask for an investigation against the party. They have expelled me, they have leaked the news in the media. You are asking for an investigation against your party by the Rajya Sabha vice chair. It's not a it's a public money. But it's, it's an investigation. But you're alleging your corruption. Money, it's not Why would one money? have an investigation? No, no, Only no. if there's an allegation I, of corruption. I feel that there must be. They must see what has happened. You, or what, what if has they not say you are hell bent to embarrass us? This is not a question of embarrassment. This is a question of public money. See, I was supposed you say to you're be saying public money could have uh, been misused? Yes, 15, suppose. Are you saying public money could there, have been misused? I, how can I tell that? Because I have not been given. The party is supposed to look after this. And in the sorry state of affairs, I wrote this letter. Everything is there in the letter. I'm showing this letter to you. Where I wrote, I, have, I gave specific suggestions. I gave seven, a seven point suggestion was given. I wrote on the date and it was on 27th of September. I wrote categorically in this letter that I feel this. Well, I mean, if you are asking and for an this, investigation no, no, no. against the left. Uh, what I am telling you, what yeah. I am telling you, this is not that I am telling Arnav Goswami in Nation wants to know but about you, this incident. But, but I have told the party on 27th, but I still, one year what, back. Let me, can you just pick up that letter out there? You've written this letter last year. Yes. So this has been a fight that's been going on for some time. I feel if I would not have given this letter, problems would not have come. So you have asked for an invest. So the question is that you have asked for an investigation of the financial allocation of money under the MP lad scheme by your party. Yes. And the moment you did that, that's where hell broke out. 
not only this because what has happened many things this is my bank statement when i had gone to the commission suppose arnab goswami wants my bank statement can arnab goswami have it can arnab goswami do arnab goswami has the right to have it it's a question of privacy party could have asked me party if party tells ritobrodo you give your bank statement there is nothing to hide i will immediately take a print well you know out. if i'm listening to you it appears to me that the cpm is a broken house and there is a mega fight that's going on at the top and you're caught in the middle of that fight i believe that I'm what is the, the fight between the yachuri and the karat what is it about see i told you why wasn't yachuri given another term as rajya sabha mp it was pure jealousy. Pure, jealousy. pure jealousy pure jealousy jealousy by who jealousy by the karats jealousy Sitaram, by by jealousy by prakash and brinda karats Sitaram, they were jealous of sitaram yes, yes, sitaram was emerging as a big leader he was not only a leader of the cpim he was emerging as a leader of the opposition i believe that it is pure i am, I, I don't know I mean, i mean i can tell you there were a lot of people who were terribly shocked that sitaram yachuri was not given another everybody, job everybody ram gopal jadav cried while speaking on the day in that house when sitaram's farewell speech was going on starting from the leader of the house to starting from the leader of the opposition you go through the records you go to the video tapes ram gopal jadav of the samajwadi party was crying everybody was telling what a harakiri cpim is making why was this done If this is pure jealousy why didn't the people Sitaram speak up in the party be, so i am telling your you your party you leader your party top leader is being humiliated you have said the karats are anti bengali i keep that part out of it but your party top leader is being humiliated why is everyone quiet i don't know but i decide i see i will give you an example they may have been vocal in the party because there was a vote in the central committee bengal demanded a vote the politburo was not ready for a vote but the in the central committee there was a vote because bengal comrades pressed for a vote because they felt that sitaram yachuri needs to be in the house sitaram yachuri must be in the parliament but unfortunately that did not happen and i am telling you this is a parliamentary democracy otherwise you have to leave parliamentary democracy and go to the jungle with arms in a parliamentary democracy you cannot continue and continue you cannot continue on ignoring the parliament that is the forum where you can speak did you talk you to sitaram the... after that see in a meeting i am telling you did you I'm, talk to sitaram after i am yes i am even sitaram told me not to tell tell those things but what, meeting, what what happened i am telling in attending in a meeting of the mps in the fair in, a, in our party office parliamentary party office inside the parliament mm. 135 parliament house there was a farewell given to sitaram mm. so every mps was asked to speak mm. i raised my hand mohammad selim was the president of the meeting then i categorically said that this is another historic blunder committed by the party then they were telling you cannot say this who said uh, selim was telling the, you cannot say this i said this is a closed door meeting at that time i had said closed door in front of sitaram yachuri in sir. front of sitaram yachuri sitaram yachuri also advised me don't tell it in public but i feel he told you not to say yes it. not to speak in public but i feel that this is an issue that must come in public somebody has to bell the cat or no it is a decision of time this is a responsibility mm. given by time mm. and i have mm. i have decided mm. i bell the cat i am mm. ready for the consequences but everybody must know party is telling what a breach of discipline mm. but this issue see I, what i was telling when jyoti basu became the could not become the prime minister the party said that if jyoti basu becomes the prime minister it will be a big setback for the party in 1996 what was the number of mlas in how many states cpim had mlas how many mp cpim have now today what is the number of the states in mm. which cpim have mls mm. what are the number of the mp cpim have in mm. the parliament this is a parliamentary democracy and the bank statement thing see will you will you reveal everything today because we, we, i really want you to speak your mind today i am speaking my mind out i am speaking my mind out what happened i wrote a letter what's happening in kerala what's happening in kerala kerala situation i feel is not at all correct no. why i am telling you i told you i have been many times to kerala as general secretary of sfi i have been many times after that also with different parliamentary committees i have mingled with common people the common people believe that vs achutanandan is the leader of the cpim there but the way he has been sidelined he may not have spoken is a very big leader very top leader but the way things are going on see the i am very disturbed with the killings you remember arnav you had called me you i was not coming to your show at the yes, time sir. this embargo was not there yeah. but you called me i said i cannot go because i am feeling what is happening is not correct whoever is doing if the rss is doing that's wrong if the cpim is doing that's wrong in a democracy is killing it, is, is not the, the solution is the cpim doing or not doing see i Speak feel the truth today and today i think you have nothing to fear tell us no, no, i have nothing to fear uh, but is the is the I, cpim I, I, come, doing it come, or not in kerala what i feel and the informations i have that uh, see 
the Kannur lobby. There is a district called Kannur no, where okay. the killings are at its yes, highest. This sensible. Kannur lobby controls the CPIM. Yes. Pinarai Bijayan hails from Kannur. Mm. Kodiyari Balakrishnan hails from Kannur. A number of MPs in both the houses hails from Kannur. Kannur is the controlling center. Why are the political killings worsening in Kannur? Let me let me come because I now I am tell. I will. I had told that in over telephone when you asked me that you come to the show. Yes. I said I will not come because I cannot go and speak. Because what is happening is unfortunate. There is a question in my mind. What Why is? this killing is, did not happen when the Congress was in power? La, before this government, Congress was in power in Kerala for five years. Yes. Before that, V. S. Achyutanandan was the chief minister. Yeah. At this level, the killings were not there. I have some informations. I don't know whether the informations are correct or not. Share no. it. No, sh I am sharing it. I will ask for a probe. Let there be a pro. I heard that in Kannur district, innumerable martial art academies are sprouting. So whether these martial art academies are really martial art academies or at the back of these martial art academies, these are breeding ground of mercenaries, this needs to be probed. And there are left, there are left, left is left there, members. right is there, no, RSS left, I'm asking you about left. No, because is the left there? No, I believe, I don't, how can I tell? But, but when this in is a your district, information. When, uh, when in a district, there are innumerable martial art academies suddenly coming up. Yeah. And where in the Kerala style of martial art, you know, you see the entire killing, whether RSS is being killed, whether CPIM is being killed, human beings are killed. There must not, you know, democracy there is, and the way the killings are taking place, the chopping of the organs, chopping of the body, in whether these martial art academies have become breeding grounds for mercenaries, that has to be investigated. But are, upon. are the left are, are left people associated with these academies? Whether the left people are associated or not, I cannot tell. But they are allowing the, it to but, continue. But the government of the day, whoever who, whoever may be in the government, the government has to take this. Law and order is a state order subject. Is a state with subject. Absolutely. Will That's you agree to that telling. at a basic yes, level? I am agreeing to that. So I'm then, when there are political killings in Kerala, irrespective of ideologies. Can the state government there, led by the left, simply shrug its no, shoulders? No, 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 not at all. How can I, if the government goes on a denial why is there mode? This, why is there no, this reluctance why, uh, to I'm, answerability of RSS killings? Who's killing the RSS workers? I don't know who's who is killing, killing the RSS. the RSS or I don't know who is killing the left. But, but, who is but human the, beings are being killed. Yeah, but who is killing the RSS? Who human work? beings are killed? There is a fight between the left and the RSS. The RSS are also killing left. Left is their uh, allegations, counter allegations. I don't want to go into that. My point is human beings are killed. That is most important. In a democratic setup, democracy in India is deep rooted. It is not just 100 years, 150 years. If the, from the time of the 16 Mahajanapads, yeah. out of the 16 Mahajanapads in two Mahajanapads, you have democratic structure. Yes. So Indian democracy thousand years old so in a democratic setup there is no place for clearing killing an eye for an eye will make the world blind you cannot go in that and the government of the day whoever have you told Sitara Mechuri about you yes I have in the parliament when this discussion was going on when the left and the BJP have was you told fighting, him about this? I was skipping mum I did not participate in that because I'm not clear about that I believe that human beings must not be but killed. But you are saying left can't wash its hands. No, no, left, how can the, can the, the left say we are not involved at all? How can the government in Kerala wash off its hands? Because of it's the a killing of the RSS subject, worker. wherever it's not a question or no one only of Kerala. Anyway, no, I'm asking country. you about Kerala. No, I'm when telling you saying how can the no, left wash its I hands? I believe, off? I believe, if a government of a day is anywhere in India, in the entire democracy of India, anywhere there are political killings, that concerned government cannot wash off its hand. The government has to answer, and government has to answer to the people. And the question is why these killings did not happen during the Congress regime. During the uh, well, V.S. Well, Chitanandan well, Chief Ministership, why these killings were not so high? Well, you raised three questions. Why the killings are localized in Kanur? Yes. Right? Second is why they didn't happen in the Congress time? Yes. And why they are happening with such frequency now? In other words, you are saying that the present left leadership led by Pineri Vijayan must answer some of these questions. They have to answer. You have in a parliamentary democracy... Why doesn't Sitaram Yachuri say that? Sitaram, that's the point. Sitaram why Yachuri doesn't he a, say that? Sitaram Yachuri is a minority secretary. I'm caught time and again again. Again you say you, minority secretary. Minority secretary doesn't have the numbers in the Politburo or in the Central Committee. Kerala is a big unit controlled by the Karats. Suppose in this, uh, that Sitaram must not become... You remember Pinarai Vijayan? giving an open uh, interview before the meeting itself that shows that things are not okay things are not proper how can Pinarai Bijayan give an interview before the meeting is over that Sizaram will not be you are fully aware that after this interview you must be sacked for talking to me for revealing all this. I fear my life also not only being sacked frankly speaking Arnab I have decided I will write to the, my state government that's a TMC government I have to write to the central government for my security because I am telling you for the first time here in your show that for the, after giving that interview, 
I am not staying in my house in Calcutta. I am Why staying outside. I am fearing for my life. There may be an attack. When I am telling this, there may be some attacks. Because I, I told you that I have built the cat. I know I have built the cat. And I have decided, I decided that I will build the cat. See, suppose, why, why I am telling you this? You remember of that Amit Pitra incident? I remember uh, the Amit Pitra incident. Uh, Amit Pitra incident. I remember I had, the Amit I, Pitra incident. For, for, the, for, for those who are not aware of the Amit Pitra incident, I just want to tell them about it for a while. Okay. You know, viewers, this was 2013. Yes. And there were protests against the death of an SFI leader. Yes. And the finance ministry was heckled by the left in Delhi. Yes. And that heckling was led by you. And yes. there was a sense that the party did not stand by you. You weren't the only leader then, and you're probably not the only leader with an Apple Watch now, but there's a constant targeting of you. You remember that incident? Yes, I remember. What I happened remember when she went outside I, the planning commission? No, I, I, that's why I want, want to speak my heart out. Because on that day, particularly, I had written a letter. That, that letter is also, I, I can letter produce publicly, that I had reached Delhi on that day in the morning. I reached Delhi on that particular day. My health was not okay. I was in my house. I was in 102 South Avenue. I got a call from the CPM office that there is a protest organized by the Delhi CPIM, uh, Delhi SFI, other mass organizations, and uh, you must come. You must join the protest. And the protest needs to be a militant one. Militant? Militant one. So, and after the protest, I publicly also uh, telling you this, and I am telling in the camera, that I did not personally heckle Dr. Mitra. I apologized to him for whatever has happened. I have earlier apologized also in public because I was there. But the point is why I am feeling I am targeted. The Bengal unit stood by me. Immediately after the incident, the Delhi committee wanted my head. I heard later, my party leaders in Bengal were telling me that when they went to the meeting, everybody was telling, Rito Broto needs to be expelled, Rito Broto needs to be sacked. I had not organized that protest. I had not let the people, all people were from Delhi. Mm. The incident happened, the people who took part in the incident, nobody was taking the responsibility I, and there was I, a demand I, for my head. I, I'll take a break, but before that, just in case Prakash Karat or Brinda Karat are watching the program today, I want you to look to camera two out there and give them a clear, straightforward message. I have a straightforward message that this hegemony, the Karat hegemony cannot continue. It's a people's hegemony, it's a people's party. Bengal cannot be continuously, continuously neglected. Issues of Bengalis, issues of Bengal cannot be continuously neglected. Then if this continues, CPIM has no future in Bengal. Ready to continue talking? Yes, I'm Okay, ready. we'll take a short break now. We'll take a short break, viewers. The gentleman here says he fears for his life, but he's willing to speak. In that sense, I would say that Rito Broto has today become the whistleblower within the CPIM. The whistleblower within the CPIM will reveal much more of what's been going on within the party after a very short break. Digital Life presents Nation Wants to Know with Arnab Goswami, powered by Ravin, Gioni, Volkswagen, Tiguan, and Canara HSBC Oriental Bank of Commerce Life Insurance. Well, welcome back, viewers, to this very special breaking news episode of The Nation Wants to Know. The Nation Wants to Know many, many answers today. 
But as I reintroduce this program, and I have a very interesting subject, Rito Broto, I would say today that rarely, if ever, in our journalism, are we confronted with what I call a political whistleblower. And there is no rule for safety of whistleblowers in our country. Yet, that has been fully effective. You are a political whistleblower. Rito Broto Banerjee, I remind you of the fact that we are continuing the in interview you're voluntarily continuing this interview. You say you fear for your life, and I hope that there is no need for concern on that. But you are willingly coming out as a political whistleblower, taking on a very established party that you have been a part of for 21, 22 years now. You're ready to continue the interview? Yes, I am ready to continue. Consciously, I am ready to continue because the people must know everything. People need to know. Only one-sided story must not come out. There must be everything in public. We spoke about Kerala. What is going on in the killing fields of Kannur? See, I personally... I'm asking you about the left. See, I'm, as, I'm not asking for equanimity from you or balance so you no, can no, forget I'm that. Not, I'm, not I'm balancing. asking you about what's I happening believe, with the left. I believe, Vijayan, for example. I believe that as no Pinarayi Vijayan is the chief minister of the state, elected chief minister of the state, he cannot be on a denial mode. If a single person is killed, irrespective of political ideologies, irrespective of political affiliation, the government of the day in whichever part of the country it may be. And as you are asking me about Kerala, I am also specific that Pinarayi Bijayan, the government in Kerala, has to take the responsibility. And he comes from Kannur himself. It's Kannur that controls the entire CPIM of Kerala. Entire, you, you, I, I, I cannot tell you the exact numbers, but if you look up the entire state committee. Does it control the CPM Politburo also? In, it is the only district in the CPIM polit, in the CPIM Politburo, only district in the country. I exactly don't know how many districts are there. So is it a coincidence then that there is one no, district, no, one, 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 one localized area of the CPM that controls the entire party and it is exactly no, 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 there uh, where I'm, the RSS workers are being butchered? What I am telling you, in the Politburo, two members are from one district. Can you imagine? Kodi Pinarai Bijan and Kodiari Balakrishnan both are from the... Isn't it against district. the party norms? No, there are no norms. There can be even all people from one district. That I not going into that. But it is a district that has been controlling Kerala. Should they uh, Kerala explain? Should they exp control. Is it a coincidence that all the killings of the RSS workers are majorly localized around Kannu? That's where the hate comes I, out. I, where, I, that's where the people have, have their hands and necks next hacked. That's where their body parts are found. That's where the killings of the RSS workers happen. That's where the killing fields are. For the you. RSS leadership is not operating out of Kannur. They are operating out of Nagpur. The, uh, the CPM leadership is operating out of Kannur. No, I, I, I told you categorically, I have no hesitation in telling wherever, as you are discussing Kerala, I believe that wherever this killing is taking place, the government of the day has to... Doesn't trouble Sitara Mechuri? Of, I believe he may not speak his heart out. What happens? What it is happens, the real it fact? It troubles him. I believe it troubles him. In meetings, him. what happens? See, when this entire debate and discussion was going on, I did not, because I am not clear about what is happening. But the Central Committee, know, has there been a discussion? I don't know, I am not a member of the Central Committee, but I know, for me, the only concern is of the, as a member of the parliament of the world's largest democracy, that Indians are killed, I Indians agree. are being killed. How I, can a government of the day deny that so many people have died? Yeah. But that's the Dylan song. Yeah. People are going on dying. Yeah. Now, how long will you... Say, uh, are continue on a denial mode? That's a big question, Arnab. The Pinarayi government must answer. They must. I, I am sure after the, uh, this show is going on, CPM will be uh, piling more allegations on me, more conspiracies, more malinations. But I believe Indians are being butchered. You also said That's they, my, just on an aside, you said they made personal attacks in your, attacks in your personal life. Huh, I, uh, but I have tapes. I will reveal the tapes. You so. have tapes of what? Whatever uh, questions have been asked, no. In what the questions were asked? Questions were asked on the commission, so I will oh, on, the your, on your personal life. Uh, yes, uh, there were there were questions, there are answers. On what? So on your personal life? Yes, yes. That on, way, uh, on what? On your relationships or what? There were. They said there were some allegations, so I have answered about that. So these are there, and I am telling you, I will allegations reveal. Of what? I will reveal allegations of what? allegations of non-communist lifestyle. So. I don't know whether going for holidays abroad every year, communist lifestyle, Who part of that? communist lifestyle. Prakash and Brinda Karat. Prakash Karat? The, Prakash Karat goes abroad, Brinda Karat go da, goes abroad for holidays. That's a part of communist lifestyle. And How you do you know they go abroad for Everybody holidays? knows that comes out in the media, that came out everywhere in the media. 
So this is a big question. There was a meeting of the CPM Central Committee that also happened in a five-star hotel, I was told. So I'm just trying to look out the details of that. There was a meeting of the CPM Central Committee that happened in a five-star hotel. In Kochi, I think. In Kochi, yes, I think. Yes, Kochi. yes, yes. Actually, things are selective. Yes. It is because this is a long so saying. So you, I find it surprising that, that someone, you know, you're saying that non-communist lifestyle means having an Apple Watch uh, is... It is selective. Before killing the dog, you must give the dog a bad name. Before killing the dog... Well, let me say this. You must you. give you're the dog a single a bad man. name. You're a single now? I'm a single. I'm you're single. single you're, you're young. You, if you have a relationship, it's your personal business. And I think it's appalling if the party asks you questions. But viewers, this is what has happened to you. You're saying you have tapes of those questions being thrown at you. You've stung the party. See, I have been publicly heckled. I have been publicly maligned. Party is saying that uh, party doesn't... Why are you doing this? I believe that this is a personal fight has gone very bitter. Personal fight has gone very bitter. And these are the these uncanny questions. Why you must... You want somebody with... Who must not ask? Who will wow. sign? Who will sign? No. Who will just sign the MP lads? I have stopped signing. I remember there was a project given to me. I said, why this project is given? Mm. I am uh, skeptical about the project. I will not sign. Then I Which wrote this project? letter. Which project? It was a project in... Uh, you are that. being forced to sign on projects and contracts that no, you don't I, I agree did not, I did not sign that. No, you were and being asked. I, you were I was being asked. asked, I did not sign. I was mailed. That's nepotism. Yes, I, that's why I wrote this letter. This letter, letter I precisely wrote, and you look at the date, 27th of September. It seems to be your political death warrant in the CPM. I, I, am, I felt that, first of all, being an MP <laughs> has been a very bad thing for me. I would not have been an MP. Want to continue I, the interview? Yes, I am in a what? mood to continue. Now tell me if you're in a mood to interview. Continue. Staying with the theme of the focus on ideology, there seems to be a trend right now that there is a sort of equation within the left that being left means everything against the nation. Where does this anti-national leaning of the left come from? Where does it come from? See, I don't believe that lefts are anti-national. I am I'm a left. I'm a very proud Indian. I'm a very proud Bengali. I was asked. I was heckled. I was trolled in the social media, not by the Trinamool, not by the BJP, but by the CPIM for writing Jai Hind. For writing? Jai Hind. I wrote Jai Hind. In Who one told of I trolled this trolled army of the Salim. I have all those. I will give it to the cyber crime things. I was trolled in a in such a malicious way. Why I have written Jai Hind? Writing Jai Hind. That is a slogan given by Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose. It was the slogan of the INA. For writing Jai Hind, I was publicly humiliated by party members. So I believe everybody where is, this, is not where, where, is, where does all this come from? Today, it seems, to be, it seems to be fashionable to abuse the army within the CPI. I don't believe I mean, in that. I mean, Codieri, Codi, are, Codieri inside the I army. Don't, I wouldn't stand by Codieri because Indian army, for me, see. No, but, Prakash, for no, me. but Prakash Karat, in the CPM out mouthpiece, published an article insulting the chief of army staff. No, I don't because army, not only army. Why didn't you speak out then? I am speaking out now. Why didn't you How speak do out? How do you know I, don't speak, I did not speak out? I spoke out inside the party. You spoke out inside the inside party? Inside the party. Then now I am uh, speaking outside. You spoke outside. out inside the party? I spoke then. out inside. Who did you speak to? In the parliament when there was a discussion, I did not participate in that discussion. Because see, the point is you have to understand on one thing. That India does not mean from Ganga Dhava to Jamuna Dhava is not India. India is beyond that. Ganga, for, Ganga, Ganga Dhaba, Dhaba, people and, who believe and that Jamuna India Dhaba is Ganga, of, of Jawaharlal Nehru University, that is not India. A election victory in Jawaharlal Nehru University does not ensure victory of the left in the parliamentary election, yeah. does not ensure the victory in the assembly elections. I believe... Then tell me about the JNU episode. JNU all, episode all, the left leaders, then, all the left leaders trooped into JNU and supported this magnificent wonder kid called Kanaya Kumar. <laughs> but where is that support got you no, now electorally no, I, I, among I, the people? I, I want to tell you one thing. Yeah, tell me about it. Then again I have to go back, you remember, you had called that why my people are calling, why you are not coming to my show. I remember that. I said I can't come. Why? Because I felt I was not there in JNU, but I know that these people believe that the entire country means Ganga Dhaba to Jamuna Dhaba. That's the geography of the country. That may be the geography of JNU, but JNU, but that's not the geography of India. India is beyond that. India is not only its mountains, not only its rivers, not only the geographical boundaries. India means its people hmm. and the army of the country that manifests the pride of the people. The 
Because I am, I believe, see, I'm, what I'm, you I'm from pressure, Bengal. See, what are you under pressure then? See, see, see. No, 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 listen, listen, you are talking about nationalism now, but no, no. I distinctly remember during the JNU incident in February last year, you participated in a march in Kolkata, and you said there's an autocratic uh, regime in New Delhi, then there is a semi-fascistic terror of the BJP and RSS. Were you being, were you being... No, I participated in the debate. See, my point is very clear. Why I participated in the rally? Because participation in the rally, because what was happening, some government also did something extra. I protested that even I have talked with Dadin uh, HRD minister. My point is completely different. What I am telling you, this entire episode did not help the left out. See, Kanaya Kumar, however popular he may be, was not taken in Bengal for election campaign. The left did not took him for election campaign. Because these incidents ultimately, because see, I am an Indian. What see, is the, what I'm, is the, what I'm, I'm telling, the idea, I'm, I'm telling what, you, what is the idea with Kanaya Kumar I, at that point of time, if the way I, he was I, being built I up? I am telling what was you, the, what was I the publicly write, I, pub, I have publicly written, when the parliament starts, every session, you have Janagana Mana, our national anthem. Yeah. I feel very proud to sing that. I stand up and I sing it loudly. When the session concludes, you have Bande Mataram by Bangkim Chandra Chatterjee, another very tall Bengali. That is our national song. And I had said publicly, I have tweeted, I wrote in my Facebook that it gives me goosebumps when I sing Janagana Mana, when I sing Bande Mataram. People may laugh at me, people may laugh when Ritu Proto says Jai Hind, people may laugh, why are you telling Jai Bangla? This is a slogan, a Bengali national slogan, that is a slogan. In the Bangladesh Liberation Movement, Bangladesh Liberation War, when Indian Army, that was our army. Bangladesh could not have won the war without our army. That army had gone, Indira Gandhi was then the Prime Minister. This very army, you cannot insult the army. I cannot stand with somebody. So what's who going on within the left now then? That I can, I am a very small fry. Now where does this influence come been, from? I find it recent. I find, I find it I recent. I believe or not, there are innumerable lefts who are pa more patriotic than any other people. You can, there may be some incidents, stray incidents. Some people then who has think the left been pen pen life. penetrated by sort of pseudo-liberal uh, NGO Lutians elements. Has there been an yes, infiltration? Yes, I believe yes. Some, some. Uh, because no, see, no, for whom it is, is, see, for me, for me, I'm. Yeah, telling. Tell me, tell I me. I cannot speak fluent English. I cannot speak fluent English. I think you're speaking fluently enough. No, by what? I, no, by what stretch of the imagination do you say you no, don't I speak? No, I have heard that I cannot speak. Well, let me tell you, Rito Broto, on a personal note. That those people who believe that mocking a British or an American accent, and there are fake people who do that, is speaking English are wrong. We must speak English in the accent that we are proud of, the land that we come from. So please perish that thought. My question to you was about the pseudo-liberal Lutians elite that many people believe has infiltrated the CPIM. See. The influence. They may not be party members within the CPI, okay. but there are people in the periphery whom I believe that there is a fashion. If you speak anything against the country, that's a fashion. Are they, are they influencing the thinking? I don't think they're influencing the thinking, but again, I'm telling you that there is a utopia that from Ganga to Jamuna, the Dhabas, not the <laughs> rivers, that those are, that is India, that is not India. If that would have been India, the number of CPI MPs in the parliament would have been much more. Why was your party quiet during Bashirat? I, I was surprised. And I, I just consider what I'm telling you. Is there a problem there? Hindu or Muslim, in this case, Hindu homes were being ransacked. There was fear. Right? Among, among the Hindu community there in Bashirat, one would have expected that if you are truly a secular party, you would have come out and said, if we've stood for Muslims, we will stand for Hindus as well. We are against persecution. We are not for a particular religion, right, or against a particular religion. But this question, however uncomfortable, will now be asked. And I want you to give me a considered response to what is happening within your party in Bengal. Actually, you see, in Boshirhat, that is not 24 Parganas of our state, there has been tremendous communal tension. And that is completely undesirable. Bengal has been a land of communal harmony where people have lived for generations, ages together. But it is true, I cannot uh, deny that there are, still there are communal tensions. The government of the day, the Bengal government has to work. The opposition has to work. No, but All what, political, what about the... What, no, why, left, the, as far as I know, as far as I know, the left, the no, of, it was not quiet. It may not have come in the media, the left... Did Mohammed Salim say anything? 
I don't keep track about Mohammad Salim, but I know that the leader of the left parliamentary party, Dr. Shujan Chakravarti, along with other MLAs, they had gone to Boshirat immediately. And um, uh, they had gone, they have... Is there a bias uh, there? That I am not in a position to tell because I have not I mean, had extensive uh, talks with the people. I had been in a program in that subdivision recently, but I felt that there is communal tension there. Hmm. Are you holding there. yourself back? No, no, I am not holding yourself, myself back because the point is, I had gone for a meeting last few days earlier, even in my social media, those pictures are there. What I, the, I interacted with the young people, frankly. After the meeting was over, I was having a smoke, I was having tea, I interacted with the young people. From them, the input I got that there is communal tension. Mm. Communal tension is there. You better check what brand you are smoking because <laughs> the next time Prakash Karat may try to find no, out. No, I, I just saw a tweet here. Mm. I you actually, if you're no, 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 I, 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 saw, I saw a tweet that I smoke 555, but for your kind, for the kind <laughs> information of the person of that troll army, you know, England, England had a famous, the Barmy army, yeah. the CPIM, this, uh, peep, some people, I, my fight is not against the party, my fight is against a set of individuals, they have created a troll army, I just failed to understand, I asked that for writing Jai Hind, if you mock me, if you troll me, hmm. I will write more. Jai Bangla and Jai Hind are my slogans. I am a proud Bengali, I am a proud Indian. I have openly, I disdain to conceal these ideas. So, what if you are not sacked? I will continue. I am very much in the CPIM. I am not, see CPIM, I had, in a Bengali there is a word. Party Amar, Party Tomar, Party Karo Bapen Noy. Party is mine, party is yours. Party doesn't belong to anybody's father. I belong, I believe that party belongs to the people. It is ultimately the people, people, people and people only. See, I was in China a few days back. I had gone to some universities uh, for delivering lectures. I was amazed that same type of billboards were everywhere in mm. all cities. I had gone to Beijing, I had gone to Chengdu, mm. I've gone to uh, uh, this uh, Changsha. Everywhere I was seeing the same type of hoardings. I asked one man, one professor who was with me, that what is written in this hoarding, hammer and sickle was there. Mm. He said it is written, socialism does not mean distribution of poverty only. Socialism means distribution of wealth too. Mm. So this is a slogan a communist party is giving. Mm. The so what is the, the plan people. ahead? You've been quoted as saying that the red flag is not patented to some father-son duo or some coterie, which is something I found very yes, interesting. Yes, I wrote, I wrote that, I wrote that. Because I believe that party amar, party tomar, party karo bapen. Party amar, party tomar, party is party mine, party is yours. Noi. Party now, doesn't belong to anybody's father. Now let me ask you straight, father. should we expect you to jump parties? Will you go independent? Are you going to form a party of your own? Or should there be an official CPM breakup? Which way will it For be? The because time being, you are at the age of 37 or 38. No, I cannot retire you, at the you age can't of 37. Retire. I won't retire. Yeah. For the time being, I will continue as an independent left. And let us decide what happens. It's okay. very clear. Well, well, Ritro Proto, it's been a pleasure talking to you. It's been a pleasure that after so long I could come <laughs> to the channel because there was an embargo and I believe that embargo was only upon me, not on anybody else because other people were coming to your TV. And in the meeting it was told you cannot go to Republic and TV. And now that you are speaking and now that you have lifted the veil of censorship on yourself, I congratulate you for that. Are you feeling lighter? Yes. I felt lighter when for the first time I spoke in the Bengali channel and today I am more lighter. Although I am a heavyweight, I am a heavyweight <laughs> man, I am feeling lighter. Well, you know what? We, when this subject goes for debate, we hope you'll join us. Yes, Rita I will Broto, join you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. And all the best in whatever happens next. Thank you. Thank you.